create everything. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is basically just do a little bit of CSS, a little bit of bootstrap. And pretty pretty solid thing to do at this point is just create a div to group our like our options here. So we're just going to go ahead and group that. And then we're just going to use some um, CSS from Bootstrap. So we're just going to call upon a couple classes. So we want this in the center of the page so that we're going to use a class text-centered. So all our stuff is there, but we still have these ugly dots. So in that case, there's a UL class called list-unstyled. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so we have list-unstyled. And you'll notice that these are gone now. But uh, we still want them to be, look a little more like buttons than we actually want them to look like um, right now there we don't really there when we click on this it doesn't feel like a button because it doesn't look like a button and so well, there's a couple things that we can do to that we're gonna apply the class uh, to the each one of these allies we'll just give it a class called btn and then we'll give it another class called btn default and we can probably give them some color later on so now you'll notice that when we hover over it changes color it's it kind of feels a little more like a button we're just going to go ahead and apply this class to all of these and you'll notice they're lining up as well because that's the way that it's actually worked out so now when we click on this it feels a little more takes a little bit a second or so on uh but you'll see that it's really it feels much more responsive when you hover over it so that's pretty cool so we basically have our four buttons here now <clears throat> we're still cleaning up the page but we're trying to kind of get a, a picture of what it, this is going to look like so why don't we add a background image because eventually that is what we're going to actually need to do so we're just going to go body here and we're going to say background dash image and in my case we're going to be using a URL and let me go ahead and pull out my image. Go ahead and put that in there. Save it. And you'll see we have this nice little background for un from Unsplash. So a couple other things we can do at this point is if we really want to start getting a feel for it before we start typing up the remainder of the code, we can probably start in this in this case we could still put it in here we'll just create an h1 class and we'll say something like uh, local show the local weather weather front end actually show the local weather and then we'll put like an h2 under it Actually, let's make it H3. We'll just have front and uh, developer project. Front end developer project. Cool. And so we have our city. You can still click them, but nothing's going to happen. In this case, when you click, it'll change between Celsius. Then we'll have to figure out what units it's in. But the core functionality for the most part is here. So in the next video, we're going to clean this up. We're going to probably do a little bit of CSS. And then after that, we'll go into actually swapping the background images. But it's going to look a little something similar like this, I imagine. All right, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.